Hey guys, so today I'm going to re be replacing this um, uh, pump assembly down here. Um, I, I had originally, the pump went out in this thing. Um, I replaced a little filter impeller, but it it said it had a new, um, new model or new style or something like that. Um, turns out it didn't fit into the house and, and um, it doesn't really pump, uh, doesn't really clean anything. So it uh, makes a lot of noise when I first put it in. So um, I imagine that thing's tore up now. So what I did, um, looked around online for the pump. The pump was like, um, I don't know, 200, 200 and something. Um, but then I could buy this whole thing minus this. Um, I could buy this whole assembly for, I think it was 240 or something. So I just bought that, just opted for that. It's all put together. Um, I'll slide this one out, slide that one in. Um, you know, I figured this stuff's going to start breaking anyway on me. Uh, this stuff only lasts so long. So um, I'm going to go ahead and pull this out and put the new one in. And I'll show you um, what it came, how it came in the box and what it looks like and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and get started on that. So first thing, just take, take this out. This just turns and it pulls right out. And then you pull this thing out. This thing pulls up. And then this whole thing kind of pulls up and out. So I'll grab me behind there. And then this thing, um, how does this thing come out? I think it detaches up there. So you can spin this little guy. Pull this out as you spin it, maybe. There it comes. So that thing just pops out. I think we have a replacement for that anyway. All right, so this is the box that I got from um, oh, some part place online. Um, anyway, you open this thing up and it comes all nice and tidied with this. So again, this is just replacing that thing, but it's got this pump, more importantly, the house in with the impeller. So my impeller that fits in here just shredded initially. I got a new impeller. Um, couldn't find the model that I pulled out, but it said it was a new, 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 new model. Turns out the model that I bought, the impeller filter, didn't fit. So it probably fits this one, um, I imagine. But anyway, it looks like I just um, have one, two, three little tabs that um, I need to loosen and turn down there. Got a new seal, so I don't have to replace that. This is already crimped on. And it looks like maybe a connection here. It has probably a rubber fit in. Um, the pump that pumps the water out and then the hose. Um, and that looks like about all I have to actually connect other than the you know the wire connection. So I got the wire connection here. Um, I think there's one on here, two on here maybe. And this little actuator valve, maybe just one connection there. And that looks like it. So looks like it should be easy, really easy to install. Um, and then this whole thing will be new. And hopefully this thing will wash wash my dishes again, get them all nice and clean for me. That's the um, the hope, anyway. So um, I think I got a new new one of those for me. So um, cool. Let's put it in. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this thing out and disconnect disconnect the drain. Uh, well, no, I think the drain line's long enough. I'll just disconnect the water supply, um, electrical hookup. Pull it out, put it on its side. All right, so I finally got this thing flipped up and over. Um, one, one, one note that um, you might run into, or at least I did. I pulled this thing out like numerous times now because I replaced this. I put a new filter thing in here, um, and I did it like you know five times probably. Um, you know, just pulling it out, it felt like it anyway. Um, but 
um, my, my fit in is really tight. And so I kind of have to jar it around to pull the thing out. And um, while I was doing that, the door kind of pulled up and out. And I was like, oh no, um, I, I pulled the door right off the hinge. Um, and of course the door wouldn't close again. And so what it actually was is um, the hinge has a notch and it just slides in and then there's a, a tab that folds over. I pulled the hinge off and it slid over and it went to the next tab, next notch over, which doesn't doesn't allow the, the door to seat properly, of course. Um, and I just didn't realize that it was not in its normal slot anymore. Um, so I, it was an easy fix. Anyway, um, before you go bend in your frame, if, if it happens to you, it probably won't happen to you. Um, you know, it hasn't happened to me before. It's the first time. So anyway, this, this is the beast that we got to pull out. Um, we got this connection here, which is just one of these little clips, a pair of pliers. Um, we've got a bunch of wires. We've got a little like, wire come in to this pump. This pump actually has to come off. Um, this is the drain pump. This comes off, goes on to the next one. I think this just like um, pulls off fairly easily here. Yeah, there's a, there's a clip and this just pulls right off. Oh, but there's water in there. So you gotta be careful of the water. It comes draining out. Um, let's take this off. Uh, wire here, wire here, wire here. Um, wire here. I think this thing gets, re yeah, this thing pops out and gets pushed back in, I guess. So yeah, it just turns, I guess, and pulls out. So this goes into the next one. This, we have a new one. We have a new motor assembly. So the things that we need to save for, to put onto the next thing is the pump, the drain pump, this little sensor thing here. And I think that's it. The rest of this stuff, we need to pull this little clip off here. This just holds the wires to, in, in place. And um, the rest of the stuff, I think, stays. We just need to route the wires through, through the little tabs on the new, new one. Um, so you got one, two. Oh, that's even loose. Dang it. That's not even tight. Um, <laughs> that's super loose on there. Wow, huh? When they, they put it in the factory, they didn't bother tightening tightening those down. I guess maybe you don't need to tighten them down. Interesting. That just slides right. So it's almost like this thing—you don't even need to really unlatch any. You don't you need, need any tools. This whole thing just kind of unplugs. So let's just see how it goes. Um, I'm gonna try to take this thing apart. I'm gonna take a picture of it first, just so I see. I'm gonna take a couple pictures just so I have an idea of how everything is routed. Um, gives me a good reference. So. You can just see all of my connections, make sure I have everything put back the way it was. When all is said and done. All right. So, um, and then let me get a towel to soak up this water that's going to come pouring out of this thing. I guess this whole drain hose is filled with water. All right. It's going to slip a towel under here. Just catch this water. It comes from the drain line. Might as well just open that up, try to catch that into a cup, maybe. Yeah, it's not going to catch into a cup. But I'll have a cup anyway. Loosen this thing. A little bit of water. 
not much. All right, so drain line, the pump, there's a little tab, it's a little latch on, on the inside that you push, and then this whole thing just kind of spins and pulls out. Oh, and there's the water. Just put that to the side. All right. So we got that pump off. Let's try to get this little sensor out. Let's see. How does this come? It just turns and pulls out. It's dirty. Just crud. So I don't know what this thing does, but that thing's out. So, um, let's see. I'm thinking the last thing. And it looks like it looks like I'm gonna push this thing inward. It looks like these tabs slide out and then this whole thing like flops in into the um, the unit. So I'll have to open up the door even though I have it on its side here. All right, so let's take this off. <sighs> Try to, things persistent. It's like gripped on there good. There we go. Just pried it off with a flathead. It's got like um, metal gator grips that just grip on this plastic here. So now we just gotta unplug these little guys here. two on that and then you got this one and then I think it's just a matter of getting the wires out of these two brackets so we can push this whole thing in and then of course just flopping these things around I can't believe these things aren't even tightened it's like you don't even have to tighten them. I don't even know if you can. Like if there's, if they forgot to tighten them, or if it's just that, if it's, that's just the way you have it. I'm inclined since this is the way it came from the factory, just to flop a new one in, push it down, and flop those things over. Um, so let's uh, let's just pull these out. So that comes out like that, and. 
Make sure this isn't in the water dripping. I don't want the wires getting corroded. This one, all this stuff just kind of pulls out of that. And I think we already, at this point, nothing's connected to this. So we can take and push that over, push that one in, push this one in, and there you go. Just like that, right? So now I'm going to open the door and try to wiggle this thing in and pull it out. And then get the new one in. And I got it. All right, so now to try to get the new one in and then put all back together. Make sure these tabs are all pushed in, the three of them. And it looks like I just wiggle this thing in around this thing and we should be good. Where's this cakewalk? Let's see. So the only thing I'm seeing to line this thing up is this. Looks like it belongs in this slot here. So I'm just gonna look at my pictures that I took just to make sure. Yeah, so I see that in that slot there. So there's a little tab right here and it needs to go in this little slot right here to be lined up properly. Pull one tab down. And for some reason this isn't like sitting in on this side. There we go. So the gasket, I could push the gasket in a little bit. It was just the gasket's nice and tight, which is what you want. So hopefully it won't leak. 
All right, so step one, got that in. Let's go ahead and connect this up so it stops, well. <laughs> Let's connect this stuff up so it stops leaking everywhere. Um, get this back on so this thing just spins click and then this thing goes on here so we get our drain line back on Make sure that we clip this back on so that you don't have a surprise when the load runs and then this thing just pops off and you get water spraying everywhere, dirty water spraying everywhere. It's a little too far, I think. I want it kind of in the grooves of where it was, last it was, all the way seated. All right, so we got that. We need to hook the power back up to this, which this does. This goes to the motor. It's the motor wire. Oh, power's already connected to this pump. Which, man, that's a small wire for this pump. Um, this red wire. This thing fastened on over here, like so. And then this was in here, like that. This guy was here. All right, so I got that wire in, I got that wire in. Need to plug this thing back in, which this looks like it goes in maybe this way. And then turns and snaps. All right, so we got that. We got those two wires. I think we got all our wires hooked back up. We just need to slot these things back in. The wire holders. So there's that one. Here is this one. I don't know if this went through there or not, but I'm just gonna put it in there as well. All right. So we got our wires through here, through here. This is power. Um, got our three tabs. Yeah, you don't even need any tools for this. It's crazy. Got all my connections hooked back up. So um, yeah, I think, think we're good. I think we're good to go. We just replaced the pump. We replaced the um, actuator valve motor and actuator valve. And we got a whole new house in. Filters, internal filters in here. Um, impeller, all that stuff's new. I didn't have to touch it at all. I didn't have to touch these little spring clamps. So you buy the motor part and you have to like get this clamp off. You've got to get the new one on. You have to hope that, um, you know, these gaskets are good and the plastic isn't too brittle and all that stuff. Just buy this whole thing, slide it in. Um, makes it so much easier. So I'm going to go ahead and write this thing up, slide it back in, hook the Hook the drain back up, or the, the water supply back up. Um, my drain's already hooked up. Hook my power back up and um, have this thing run a cycle. So hopefully it washes the dishes again so um, we can have clean dishes. Okay, so we got our new, our new, um, whatever this thing is called in here. Um, just make sure the seal Seems to be nice and tight around everywhere. I don't want any like folds or gaps. I don't think in here to allow it to leak. I'm gonna leave the um, 
the guard underneath off for the first cycle just to make sure there's no no leaks um, so make sure this thing's pushed back in here um, whatever that thing is and then go ahead and put this guy back in so this thing um, I'm gonna clean this off real quick I'm just gonna rip it off All right, so then go ahead and just put this thing back in. This thing just, I think, snaps. You bring it up high and you bring it down. There it goes. That thing just snaps in there. So it goes on and snaps down, and then this pushes down and snaps in there. And then... Last but not least, your little sprayer here. This thing just spins and hooks up there. So, um, hopefully I did all this right. And hopefully I um, didn't forget to put on a, um, or take out like a guard or something on the motor. Um, I didn't really look for any of that. And there wasn't any instructions with the box. So, um, I'm assuming this, this unit's just plug and play, ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and try to run a cycle now with this thing and see see if we see any smoke. Hopefully we, we don't release the magic smoke. Oop. I almost forgot to turn on the water. <laughs> Alright, got the water turned on. I'm just going to look underneath real quick. Just to make sure I don't have any leaks under here. Everything is dry. So I expect it to be that way after I start this cycle. doing stuff. There's the pump. Nice. There it goes again. Sounds good. Turned on twice. All right, I'm just going to let that run, and um, everything is dry in there. I expect that it's um it's as good as new probably now. So I hear I hear the water sloshing around in there. So it sounds like we're good. So hopefully this one's done. I don't want to pull this thing out anymore. Thanks for watching.